Put yep. a little biscuit on a napkin beside it and hands it to you. Okay. So I'm drinking the tea. What are you guys doing? Uh, pretty much waiting for you to go to bed if possible. But if you don't, like in the next like half hour, I'm probably gonna go to bed. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to sleep. I'm gonna drink it quick, and then if y'all are ready to go to sleep, no, I'll, I'll go to sleep. Yeah, I, I think after... Rita for the tea after I finish it, and I head to the, to the yeah sleeping area to try to get some more Z's. Yeah, Gravy is fairly adamant to Harry and to Jean that one of them should take watch. At least over Gil. Yeah, who who's, who was already on shift before? Cherry. Cherry. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, Cherry. <laughs> I keep forgetting about her. <laughs> but after we discuss watch, I'll either go on watch or rest, depending on what we decide. Yeah, wh whichever you want. It doesn't really matter. I'll go first. Okay. Okay. Wake me up in a couple okay. hours. I'll wake you up before I go, go. <laughs> That's immediately where my head went to. Alright, so you two swap out in approximately two hours, which uh, leaves it at about 4 a.m. You guys will continue until I would say around 7 a.m. Wake up. We're just quietly trying to Make some warmed milk and such for everybody. <laughs> you wake up to the smell of cinnamon and salt. Mm -hmm. Which is a dangerous combination. She's carrying bowls of oatmeal, porridge, whatever, out to the table outside. Kind of scuttling. She's like, well, well, go ahead. Finish opening your eyes. We, were, were we all able to get a long rest? You were all able to get a long rest, but you. Oh, fuck. Did you have nightmares again, Gil? I don't you know. Have an the... additional, you have an additional um, plus one to exhaustion. All right, I'm plus three. This now. motherfucker's gonna die. Yeah, soon. <laughs> I had an idea during the week. Maybe we should just return the sword of the statue. Maybe. Yeah. So, Do you I have mean, any I, weapon? I, I feel I don't know if it's the sword or if it's the goat man because Harry, because 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 Harry doesn't have a sword, right? Henry, I mean, and he's going through the same thing. Um, I thought about giving the sword to someone else to see if it. Anything happen to them, and then we could confirm it that way, but yeah. That's a good idea. Henry slipped. Everybody else has had a long rest. Yeah, I gloat about it. Uh, wow. You're like whistling at breakfast? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you should take that sword back. He whistles in harmony with Polly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Rita, she like joins in. But like Henry and Gal look miserable. Cherry's pretty solemn. Oh, maybe Henry didn't sleep. Wait, what's that one song? It's like, no sleep, Bill. Brooklyn! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm singing that. I'm eating pizza, sorry. What do we want to do, guys? Oh, Gail, you look like shit. Positively terrible. Are you I okay? Like shit. I didn't sleep again. Oh, man. I should take up my stretching uh, t uh, routine. I stretch before I go to bed. You guys can hear. Um, <laughs> you're, you're eating in a table outside. You can hear the, like kind of like muttering voices of like children coming from the house uh, behind Rita's. You can hear them all like kind of clattering bowls and spoons eating their breakfast as well. And out comes uh, a young woman who's like wiping her hands on her 
apron and she comes out to greet Rita and Henry and notices you all there. She looks exceptionally shy when she notices you all. She kind of waves, you know, half-heartedly to Rita. I mean, it's like, oh, good morning, Sophia. Everyone, this is this is Sophia. She's one of our survivors. She takes care of most of the children in the other house. Hmm. Here he bows. Pleasure to meet you. Kind of curtsies. Can you, hey, can you set this somewhere, please? I don't know, in the bathroom? Yeah, take it. Kind of curtsies to you, and she kind of nods to everybody else. She definitely seems very, very shy. Hmm. She looks like she's about 15 years old. She's young, long brown hair. She appears to be human. What brings you around in the morning, Sophia? Um, she kind of wrings her hands. I was just getting everybody breakfast and thought I'd come out and check on Henry and Rita. I thought maybe I heard some commotion last night, but I didn't want to leave the kids to, to investigate. She looks like wide eyed at them like, what happened? Wonderful. Well, we were just passing through town. We wouldn't want to interrupt your work. Rita's just kind of watching the exchange between Gravy and Sophia, like, very interested, like like a bird cocking her head back and forth, like, hmm, hmm. Huh. She's never quite seen Sophia have to interact with anyone. And Ah, uh, I see. She comes to her rescue and she's like, oh, well, uh, Henry had another dream last night, but it seems that we have that bard from the tavern running around here. It was awfully scary. How were the kids? And Sophia kind of looks up, you know, concerned, like, a goat? The bard? Mm. He's alive? She's like, well, some of the kids seem to sleep a little more restless than usual, but I didn't know if it was the commotion. I didn't want to scare any of them, but no one's mentioned anything extraordinary this morning. He's alive? Do you suffer nightmares, Sophia? Or did you see him that night? No, I never really quite had the pleasure of visiting the tavern. I usually was in charge of of the children, not quite old enough to go, and I wasn't young enough to have to stay behind with anyone else. So, luckily, I wasn't at the tavern, and I don't know what he looks like outside of what young Henry here has described from his nightmares, from what happened that evening. Okay. Grease? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Just covers the room, starts another fire. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I was trying to click the... Were you trying to cast protection from good, evil and good? No, I was just reading. Okay. You're not allowed to read. <laughs> so Sophia what? is like, looking like dumbstruck. Like, huh? And then she starts looking back and forth like she's inspecting you guys she looks uh from gal to harry to gravy the bird looks a little puzzled at that looks at jean cherry and then back to henry and she's like henry was it the same one that you see from your dreams and henry just kind of nods looking at her Goes back to slowly eating his porridge, and she was like, "But, well, where did he go?" That's what we're trying to find out. If you have any information, we'd love to share. But not sure if it's up your expertise. 
well, I don't have any information. I was asleep, but where did Inside you find him? check this fucking lion teenager. Well, <laughs> go this ahead and roll freaking liar. God damn it, I forgot to feed these guys again. Damn it, a 12. Uh, so she's from good. what you can tell, she doesn't she doesn't have any tells at all. She's just genuinely dumbfounded. Like you're Master not getting anything else from her. <laughs> all right. Um, but she did ask, you know, like how did you find him? Uh, well, he kind of found us, and he seems to be terrorizing a few individuals. I think Rita uh, nods quickly, looking from Henry to her, and says, Henry had a, a nightmare, and we caught him outside. He was moving towards the place where the tavern was, towards the scar, and like she just puts her head down. I think light revealed him, right? Specifically. She mm. looks at Eugene. She says, "Light." Magical light. So you couldn't see him? He was invisible. Something like that. She looks really scared at this. Well, I mean, visibly invisible, hardly visible. So he could have been anywhere. He could have been here this whole time. Well, I mean, he was. Uh, not making her feel better. Yeah, I don't make her feel better. I say, yeah, he can kind of just pop in and pop out wherever he wants. He's a powerful magic user. And she holds her finger up, like, wait just a moment, and, like, backs up and, like, peeks in on the kids behind her, making sure they're all, you know, still sitting there eating, closes the door. Yeah, I mean, he he very well could maybe even shapeshift into one of the children you take care of. I would be very careful. She looks fucking horrified. What have you done to this girl? <laughs> Yay. And she kind of walks up and, like, gives Rita a hug, and uh, you can see her eyes welling up with tears. She's Ugh. feeling very hopeless at this point. You know, they've just been through this tragedy and and the only survivor seems to be now this enchanted bard who is haunting Henry's dreams and now this party that she's suddenly meeting that she doesn't know anything about you guys being the ones that have disappeared yet, though. Um, and now this Enchanted Bard has been probably spying on them, invisible, the entire time. Yeah, it's and very scary. And then she kind of like looks at Rita and she goes, but who are they? And Rita says, well, believe it or not, they were the group that disappeared two nights before the tavern burned down. This just blows her mind and her eyes get huge and she was like, did you have something to do with it? She kind of gets like an attitude and gets up in Gravy's face. Um, yeah, very likely, probably. <laughs> <You're st> <laughs> That's what we're trying to find out, actually. What you're it's trying to find out, it's no... It's just a coincidence that you disappeared and le stiff the tavern owner with the bar tab and then leave all of these kids without mm. parents, take everything we know from us, and now you're just magically back. And then this goat bard that Henry's been having nightmares about and sleepwalking appears out of being invisible. Like, he's been watching us, and then you want to say you had nothing to do with it? Uh, no, actually, I said that I had something to do with it. Uh, I look at the party, I'm like, God, this kid is stupid, man. 
I turned around like shrug, like, come on, like you got did I not say we had something to do with it? Come on, guys. She uh holds off and punches you in the stomach. <laughs> Ugh. And Ugh. then runs back in the house and locks the door. Oh, you punch like a bird. Oh. We may need to work on your tact. I answered all of her questions truthfully, Harry. And then she called me a liar. What is this? Humans raised by humans are crazy, man. Henry kind of stands up and he's I mean, like, birds. I can't believe that you made Sophia mad. Why did you lie to her? You guys told me you had <laughs> nothing to do with it. Uh, we tried to pay you back. Didn't we pay you back? But you said you had nothing to do with the disappearance or the burning of the tavern. And now you told Sophia that you did. I didn't say we did. I said we might her. have. I'm, we're just as lost as this kid is. And he uh, runs to kind of check on her. Ugh. Guys, I'm going to they're getting sit what you're quietly. throwing down. I'm going to sit quietly, Rita. Sorry for disturbing your, are high. your town. I hit Gene over the back of the I mean, Gravy over the back of the head. Okay. You hit like a, like a human male. Ouch. And you hit like a bird cannibal. I mean, well. Who the fuck said that? <laughs> Everybody says around. I swear to God, like, all around. fucking dissonant whispers. <laughs> and it's, uh... You see, it was Rita. It was Rita? Rita? Okay. It. Standing, I don't like, care all short with her hands on her hips, like, grimacing at you for pissing off her two charges here. All right, guys. I will, uh, shut up while you handle the diplomacy. <laughs> Lots of diplomacy is going to be needed now. Uh, well, actually, I say to the party, aren't we leaving to the capital? I thought we were going to go to the Milpreth cave or. Oh, sorry. Aren't we leaving? <laughs> Period. <laughs> yeah. No, sorry. we certainly are now. Milpreth cave, Rita says. Why are you going there? We discussed this yesterday. Rita, we told you, you're so old and senile. <laughs> I shut up again. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Very clears his throat. <laughs> Just diplomacy. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, we, we discussed this yesterday, and, y'all, and they, they gave us the information about Mill Creek Cave, about it being um, a, kind of a bad omen that kids disappear, get sick. Um, Maybe you break a heel on your shoe or something like that, for example. Uh, it's about a two-hour journey from Leafly. Well, you're yeah, just going to leave us? I mean, yes. It's two, it's two hours. With this goat, I mean, man? On foot, foot. Well, I mean... He ran? Man. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's Do you know over. where the goat man is? Do you have any way for us to find the goat man or any idea of how to, how no, to get No, but him? you know it's just us. Well, I mean, my he appears only thought to be on the run, and be, we're concerned of where he may have run we're off not, to. We're just looking in the surrounding area right now because we we don't have any other points of interest. But if if there's anything y'all y'all know that that we don't know yet, please please tell us. Like he like angrily starts stacking the oatmeal bowls up after I offered my hospitality to you. <laughs> She's like, fine, go, leave us. We've been, we were fine before you, and we'll be fine after you. We're not leaving you. It's like a two-hour walk. <laughs> <laughs> I think diplomacy is no like longer right on the, over the hill. <laughs> I think, okay. I think what she heard was you guys were headed to the capital. No, no, the cave just, which I mean, the there's ca- two caves nearby this this little. Well, the thing, cave right? and then the capital, right? You didn't make any mention of coming back. Well, or I mean, asking. it depends what we find out there. <laughs> All right, Rita, I've written this sonnet for you. Oh God! No act of love is ever done in vain. Shut up, phone. It builds a bridge <laughs> connecting heart to heart. In caring. And I look to the party, we relieve another strain and for unity 
no soul departs and i put my hand like i clasp her hands like to stop her from like stacking cups and stuff so i say to her i look her in the eyes so let us love and care through all that we do i'm for each and each other's joy we bloom anew what do you think about this (laughs) she like looks at you like she's been hypnotized and she blushes and she's like you're right life is too short to be angry we must cherish those that we have. I I thank you for trying to help us, and I wish you luck on your travels. And she just turns around, and walks away from I'm, you, takes some bowls tell, in the mouth. I'm gonna tell Rita. Um, <laughs> I put my finger. No, in her no, seriously, lips. like we're not leaving. <laughs> There's been three days I have not slept. If it's three days more, I'm gonna be dead. I, we were true. highly, <laughs> highly invested on stopping this good man. So we are doing our best to find him, and we're we're gonna go to this cave see if we can find out anything there. I mean, we've searched over here at the tavern. We didn't find anything. Um, there was no trace of him when he left. Uh, we we rolled literally be <laughs> a perfect investigation and had hunter's mark on him and didn't see anything. So we have no trace of this this person. So. Um, we're searching any nearby points of interest that he might be held, held up. That's the only thought that we have, or that I personally have right now. I don't know what the She's like standing there with her hand on her hip, like tapping her yeah. toe, and she just like nods at you, like, yeah, you better. And then she'll I'm the going to die. <laughs> I'm on it. She's like, we'll be, be in here. Invested. There he's just looking at Gravy, mystified that he went from making everyone hate him to being loved in five seconds. You'll you'll hear them like sliding the bolts across their doors, locking the place up. All right, what are we doing, guys? I guess Hello? going to the cave. We should go to Millpree because it's probably the only chance of you not dying. I mean, we could throw me in the holy water. I don't know. Maybe I can sleep in that. I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, if you'd rather die sooner, we could just yeah. drown you. That that's an option. Um, Maybe I'm gonna let's tr- not have that option as as I, option I, I B. Do, I do want to try one thing. I don't know if it's going to help, but th- is anybody here able to use a longsword or wants a longsword? Because I will hand this over to anybody. That, that yeah, I it. can use a longsword. Okay. I'm going to hand you the Sword of Neralis. That oh, is a plus shit. four longsword. And if you have ill fate with it, then we will know it's the longsword for sure. Ah, uh, but it took you a and, while and, and to do it. And if I just die, you know it's safe. So, either way, oh. it's a win-win for you. You got a three-day advantage on my feet. That's true. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'll have to tune to this later, but uh, unless, how long did it take you? An hour? I think it was eight hours. Eight hours? Well, why don't we uh, head over to Milpri and... If we can't get rid of your exhaustion, then, you know. You might sit in the back of a wagon while we go there and attune for two hours of it, and then can you re, re work on it later after we get there? Like, just do it in segments yeah. as we have time while we're traveling? I'm not too sure about my magical knowledge, but I think I'd have to do it in one go. Okay. But I'll ask God. I mean, the dungeon master. What do you think, Gene and Harry? Should we head over to Millbury? Those taste. Our taste. Onward. I start clumsily can you, can with you, a weak wrist, like stabbing the, the, the wagon and like try to tuck me in as as much as possible. And someone just like do a melody while we go. Yeah, I'll just sing you a, a soothing. A, maybe maybe I'll uh, fall asleep a little bit. <laughs> Hush, little Orky, don't say a word. <laughs> little Orky. <laughs> All right, so we're headed to, to Milpri. Is Cherry with us, or is she staying in this town? Cherry, come along, unless you want to Cherry's protect... Cherry's definitely coming along, you know, just falling behind. <laughs> All right, so you guys travel um, to Milp Cave, and um, let's take a 10-minute break real quick because I need to do something. That's good. 
Okay. Gee, while I'm while I'm doing this, can you feed the dogs for me, please? Yep. Thank you. I guess I'll feed my cats. <sighs> Maybe that'll get them to stop bothering me. Yeah, these guys are driving me crazy because they're hungry. Every week, I forget. Gravy, that's still a plus four longsword, even if you don't attune to it, so.
back here. Let me I am back. Welcome back. I'm here too. How do y'all deal with like multiple stacks of disadvantage or advantage? Do they do they compound or? Nope. They cancel out. They have pretty different much. effects usually. So you can only be at disadvantage or at advantage. You can't do like double disadvantage or anything like that. Um, but if you have to. If you roll at advantage and then you get disadvantage, it just cancels out to a normal roll. <clears throat> yeah, there's you no can, like trump. Right, but if you, let's say you have two sources of advantage, right? Yeah, one source no of disadvantage. It's just a normal. Do you roll. do you, do you have advantage? No. Okay. I mean, that'd be a homebrew based on your DM. Yeah, the other campaign they're stacking, and that's why I'm confirming. Yeah, the stack is like if the DM wants to count all that shit, sure. I will count it like uh, for every two advantage, one disadvantage can cancel it out. Okay, so if you have two sources of advantage, right, yep. three. you could have up to you could be one source of advantage maximum, right? Yep. Right. So you're still at a at a disadvantage unless you have two advantage. Okay. Because of the reason I'm asking. I'll just, I'll just say, so right now, I if we get into a fight, I'll have disadvantage naturally from exhaustion. So, but if we flanked, I would be at normal. And if I attacked recklessly, also, I could get advantage while flanking at the same time. Oh, so yeah, disadvantage. Reckless so? gives me advantage, but it gives everybody, it, may, it gives me disadvantage on, when people are attacking me. Right, so they have basically mm -hmm. advantage when they're attacking me. But mm -hmm. I just want to understand, just in case we get in a fight. Yeah, because you probably have disadvantage to attacks and saves now. Yes, I do. Brutal. I have, I have disadvantage on attacks, saves, half speed, and ability check disadvantages. <laughs> you might as well just watch through the window. And one more day, my hit points will be halved. In two more days, I will not be able to move. In three Six more days, days, I'm dead. Just to let you know. <laughs> it's good to know. So we have a timeline. <laughs> I, I already already planned out in two days of when I can't move. We're going to put me on the back of the wagon. Somebody's going to move <laughs> me around. And I'm just going to fling. Come at me, fool. <laughs> Or tie me to one of the horses. I don't know. Haul me around with somebody else. So is, back. is everybody back? Yes. Well, yeah. I am. Yeah. Don't know about everyone else. Yeah, we are. But he's back and Gravy's back. So I stretched my back real well, and I feel much better. Right. Nice. So you guys arrive at the entrance to Milper Cave. Oh wait, sorry, Cricket. Can I tell? Uh, can I tell Gal one nursery rhyme? Go for it. Uh, so Gal, picture this: you're on the back, closing your eyes. I'm rubbing your temples. Okay. Grumble, grumble, orcish roar. Smash the gates and loot some more. Under yes. moonlight, weapons glean, plunder, pillage, it's the dream. That's it. That's all I got. 
because. All right. So on the way to the cave, um, Gel, you're able to get a short rest. All right. It's not nothing. I don't think it does anything unless I want to roll a hit die. When you arrive at the cave, the entrance to it looks like the entrance to any other cave. It's very overgrown. Um, you can see where there were paths previously. It's dark, pitch black, basically, uh, from the beginning. There's nothing but overgrowth and uh, forest and weeds on the outside. Doesn't look like anything special, but there is a road that was leading essentially right up to it. Mm. I will follow your lead. Sorry, someone's at my door. All right, so we move towards it, guys. Yes, unless there's a reason not to. Ooh, is everybody going in then? I can use my party move. Yeah, I mean, I'm going in. Cautiously. Hey, where the hell is fucking Cherry? I mean, at this point, I'm probably stumbling left and right as I walk. <laughs> I don't know how. I can't do anything well. I can't be stealthy or anything, so... Just like, oh my god. Okay, let's go, guys. Come Onward. Harry keeps an eye on Geld because he's worried he's oh, going to okay. fall over. Did it move oh, you guys uh, automatically? Yep. I don't see you. I don't oh, see, no, see the, I see the new map. map. I see a bunch of should, colors. Should we be able maybe. to see? No, no. Map? Oh, look! Ah! Ah! My eyes, my eyes. Maybe even some speed race. Oh my god! Maybe it's just. I think I looked up too much. Maybe I saw the sun. Stand the sun. <laughs> it's bad for your eyes. So this does not work how I thought it did. Then it's fucking. Close by the fog of war. You shouldn't have been able to see shit. Well, I don't think we were on the map, so it didn't register us as having fog of war. Or maybe we on the right map? I don't know. I think it'll apply fog of war based on your token. Who but thinks they saw the most and that I can move as a test? I mean, I, I saw, saw the most. Quite a bit. <laughs> I can you know tell that... you where I didn't all memorize the monsters it, but... are. Sorry. <laughs> You know that meme where SpongeBob and Patrick are putting their eyeballs all over the treasure map? Yeah, I that pretty was much me. was fully zoomed out, and I looked over when you moved. My little brain was like, "Ooh, something to look at." Rip. Hold the fuck up! Something is like, man, today sucks. Fucking everything up. Wait, where the hell are you guys? You're it's okay. Snow. Well, I'll be dead in a few days anyway. If it makes you feel better, I won't remember <laughs> any of the paths. <laughs> Only you'll be dead in a few days. Yeah, I'm going to take you with me. Don't worry. Oh, shit. You guys see now? <laughs> 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 this is the last thing I guys, do. Guys, we gotta figure this out. <laughs> is it dark now? I see the I'm still tail on the old still. Map. Yeah. No, don't look! Close your eyes! No, ah! I see I see the old the old the crossroads the town, uh what what was it called? Um oh. Fern, uh, Leafly? Leafly. Leafly. Okay, what about oh, I, ah! see again. I see it. Don't Close look, my eyes it. immediately though. I'm not okay. looking. Okay. It has the fog of war on. Maybe it's only on for you, which would be odd. <laughs> Raya, stop looking. Did you try to move our tokens over there? Yeah, I think our tokens I are already over there. I saw them over there this time. I moved the tokens over, but everything should be a fog of war. You shouldn't see anything. Pull me over. I went look for it. was really in charge of my stink. Try to turn it on and off. A you're longer. you're already over. Hey, what's up? 
I see. I looked a little bit. I saw our character tokens, but now I'm not looking. I see everything again. I got you, cat. You got too close. Try drawing the fog of war again right now. I. I already did. What layer? Is it like advanced fog of war? Because there's some like bullshit. There's like two fog of wars from what I remember. Are you on the GM layer or the player layer? Uh, I think that one is just the settings on the map, G. Like, when you have the drop-down of your maps. Yeah. I mean, I've done this, like, every time so far. I've done it Yeah, it's worked fine until so. now, so... Whatever you were doing previously was working fine on all the other maps. Probably just some weird setting that got turned on or off. Maybe it's a layer issue? Maybe it's... Un I, I don't know how this works. I'm just assuming maybe it's underneath the map, the Fogger War. I'm guessing... I've never used these. Tools. I'd have to go into DM mode again to remember how it works. Fuck this noise. I'm so pissed. Turn on fog of war. There you go, buddy. That was me. You did it. Yeah, was... we're good now. Hey, that nothing. was G? Yeah, I just swapped to the G. Why were you able to do it? I... Didn't he make the campaign? Yeah, I did. Um, I had it on. I did it on both sides. Or hide fog of war? Did you reset the fog? Did you enable fog I, of war? I, I did, it, and stuff. I did it the same way I've always done on both layers. So, I saw it go dark when you clicked too. So. Yeah, but I'm not sure why. It's fucking it's stupid. Yeah, it's just not. It's not responding to me. G is just like a better person. <laughs> or twenty whisperer. Fucking dumb. All right. And you open up the little area around us. Yeah, it's working great. We're good. So when I tried to put the fog of war down, it asked me, do you want to turn on fog of war? Yeah, it asked me too, every time. Oh, that's weird. Did you say yes? <laughs> Did you say thank you? <laughs> I said okay, <laughs> actually. Please. You said please, please and thank you? All right, so you guys uh, kind of walk Let's into the know. cave... Uh, it's pitch black. Are you using your... I'm using my dark vision, 60 dark foot. Dark vision. Somebody Fuck you in your light. dark vision. I'm, I'm walking ahead of everybody. They're like, don't worry, I got this, guys. I what, are we going to tie up like, to a rope like in kindergarten so we don't get lost? Here, uh, do you have a weapon that you like, Harry? I do use my bow quite a bit. But are you going to have it out? I'll have it out. Okay, I can, uh, if I'm not mistaken, touch one object. Yeah, I can touch your bow. All right. But just keep in mind that means, Harry, uh, you're going to have to be closer to shoot the arrow. Because you're the one emitting light. I could put it on Gel so that if he's next to something... Then so you can on the okay arrow. A light on the arrow. So if if, if it Harry could be on the arrow. bow, I could oh. touch an object that's smaller than ten feet. So I could either touch Gel so that Harry can see any enemies Gel is near, or I can touch Harry so Harry can see whatever he's near. I mean, you just blew my mind with the thought of it being on an arrow where you could shoot an arrow and light up different areas. You know? I vote either <laughs> Gel or an arrow. Uh, uh, how about? We try the arrow and make the DN DM helmet. Before we do anything, can we just listen and see if we hear anything or from our current situational awareness? Valid. I'm going to cast Gift of Alacrity first on myself. Never cast it on me, huh? Nope. All right. So Gift of Alacrity <laughs> on yourself. Yep. You guys are quiet and listening. And all that you hear is the very occasional sound of dripping water. Harry, I can bless one of your arrows if you want to shoot it down a corridor. All right. Or I can so, light up one of your arrows. So, what does blessing do? No, I can light up one of your arrows. Oh, sorry. light up. You, I thought you said blessed and like. So okay. all of you essentially are standing together. Yep. Up here so far. All right. I will take the lit arrow. I'm and in shoot front. It straight ahead. Yeah, we'll be at the front. Yeah. Is the white part the walkway, or is that water? What is that? The the white part is like the grounds, like the entrance of the cave. Okay, so entering. that's where we walk on, right? What's so the brown right. part from? Those of you with dark vision can see down in front of you, unless you've already shot your arrow. Not yet, because I have to tell them where to shoot it. <laughs> All right. 
So those of you with dark vision see a large um, wooden uh, door and then a large wooden gate. One is clearly the doorway to a building. The other is a very large gate that blocks the entirety of the cave floor to ceiling. Hey, Gail, why don't you and I check that out? All right. And then uh, <laughs> Harry can uh, hold the arrow for some direct light, but then we can shoot that arrow if we need to investigate a corridor or a room or a hallway. Yep. So it's a door. So uh, what it's do like you want to use? Gate, I think. How you want to handle this gravy? Uh, I knock. Hello. You hear Hello. nothing, and no one answers. Can I push the door to see if it opens? You push the door, and it opens with a creak. It is incredibly heavy. Anyone got WD forty? Pardon me. I haven't learned that spell yet. <laughs> WD forty. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going in. So as you push the door open, Gel, you see Fuck it. I don't even care at this point. <laughs> I can see 60 feet, so one, two, So, yeah, well, no, you good. should be, but I meant, uh there's just something you don't know about. Anyways, the, as you open the door, um, it is pitch black inside, except for the fact that you see like the slight neon kind of bioluminescent glow that's barely lighting uh, the inside of the room. It is filled with glowing mushrooms of all different colors. There's fungi kind of spread all over the walls and along the floors. And it is, um, lighting the room up enough for you to see that uh, right in front of the door, there is a bench and a seat. And there are kind of a long entranceway with a long runner rug leading up the opposite end of the room, uh, up some steps. And there are four large pillars inside the room. And that's what those of you with dark vision can see. And the pillars are holding up the roof, I'm assuming? No. There are four large stone pillars in the middle of the room. Okay. I'll describe just vaguely to Harry and Jean, but not, like, exquisite detail. Just so, like, you know. They can only see, like, 20-ish feet in front of them unless they have dark vision themselves. So They can see the glow from the mushrooms or from the fungi, but they can't... Um, they can't see any of the details inside of the room. Like, I'm a pretty fun guy too. <laughs> I'm going in. I'm gonna cast gonna... a dissonant whispers on Gene. <laughs> Man, you're fucking brave. You just walk right into a room infested. I'm actually gonna yeah. back up like ten feet. <laughs> hey, I grab Harry. I grab Harry. I'm, just, I grab I'm not gonna it. go in. I'm gonna stand in the doorway like Gail. Maybe hold I just, back. A I just moment. I just walked in and sat on the bench right there. I'm just yeah. like I'm all right. I'm just taking a break. So there's just two solo like chairs on either side of the the door entranceway, and then there's like a big bench sitting opposite you. All right, well I'm sitting in just whatever's by the door. There's a big um, symbol on the floor um, of like a spiral, kind of like weaving itself outwards. Yep. You guys come on in and figure out if y'all need something cut, let me know. I'm going to be chilling. Well, anyone want to poke <laughs> those? Can we walk around the mushrooms without, like, touching them? Yep. I'm going to look in, but I'm, not, I'm just going to watch them maybe die to mushrooms eventually. So the... The haze, like the bioluminescence from the mushrooms, is just enough to kind of glow around each individual mushroom, not enough to spread light around the room. So it does kind of appear to be like a, a colorful fog along the walls where the fungus is and along the floors. Um, is there an odor? 
It just smells wet and damp. Name of my sex tape. <laughs> yeah. Damp. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> fucked. <laughs> uh, can I investigate the mushrooms and see if I recognize any of them or something like that? Um, let me. What's your? Go ahead and roll nature. I will help him. Okay. One. And that one. In uh, oh Jesus. I will use my inspiration, which will be an extra d6. So you have yeah. seen... Okay. 18, nice. Woo! 18. All right. So you have seen these mushrooms in uh, text before. Um, fuck, what is my phone going off like this for? I have to keep it on. Sorry, guys. Oh, um, fine. The... I thought you had a Tamagotchi. <laughs> I thought it was your dryer. No, it's my Psycho X. Hey, I love and miss you, Breakup with G. <laughs> oh my god, no. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, G. Them's the brakes, kid. Them's the brakes. Oh my good god. I can't read that. So... You recognize the mushrooms from your studies in the past, but you do not know um, specifically about them. You do remember that they are toxic. You don't know if they were toxic to eat, to inhale. You don't remember, but you do remember that you need to steer clear of them. I don't. I relay this information. They might be toxic to breathe, certainly toxic to eat. Wouldn't recommend touching those. Which ones were those again? Well, Gal has been sitting inside oh. for, you know, a couple of minutes at this point. He has not passed out. So Probably eat. <laughs> I want to pass out. Is your greatest strength <laughs> right now. <laughs> I tie a bandana <laughs> to my out. face just in case. <laughs> my mustache kind of poking out the sides. And I cautiously walk in without touching any mushrooms. And you're still holding the arrow knock that's lit, right? Yeah, yeah. So when you step into the room with the lit arrow, it lights up the majority um, of the small room, which kind of appears to be a temple of sorts. Um, it is not very big, uh, but you can see on the opposing wall, the four stone pillars look like they have writings on them. And there is a mirror that is kind of glowing, just the same as the mushrooms. And the surface of the mirror is foggy and kind of swirling. Do I see anything in the mirror besides this fog? Nope, it is very fogged up. It is like a bluish purple fog, kind of swirling, slowly moving, just like the bioluminescence of the mushrooms. Can anyone see into this? Along the edges. You I can take a closer something? look if you need. <laughs> I'll be your guinea pig. No, oh, jeez. What do you need me to do? Is there a blender? Just... I'll stick my hand in it. What are we doing? No, no, nothing like that. <laughs> Just tell me what you see in this mirror. Ow, I'm going to look into the mirror, kind of like wobble back and forth and try to focus my eyes. What do I see? So it is just a continual marbled swirl of what is like light, just kind of shimmering around the edges a little stronger in hue and consistently moving. You can't see into it at all. What does it taste like? I lick it. No, no. <laughs> when you lick it, it tastes like iodine. Ooh. Tastes like iodine. And it I saw some wobbly, wobbly better. lights. Now I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm the best one to talk about this, but it could <laughs> be delirium. But, but <laughs> I saw blurry lights, and I don't know. It, it's some mumbo stuff. Does that help? Yep. All right. <laughs> I sit back down. <laughs> That's probably for the best. <laughs> uh, I'm a tiptoe around 
to look at the circle? Once you kind of approach the circle, you can get a better look at the mirror um, as you get close to it and the stone pillars below it. Uh, you can see a large inscription above the mirror on the wall. It's clearly some sort of writing, but it's not a writing that you understand. Who has the quill? Do I you? still have the quill? Yes, you or you Jane? I yeah, you offered it to it. me, but I didn't take it, so you still got it. I can read it! Read with it. my magic quill. You pull the magic quill out, and suddenly, you can read the inscription. <gasps> Your eyes kind of have that glare of like light shining in them quickly, and then you make out, Wait, and you just inherently out. know that it is out. an inscription in Celestial. And it says, reveal the truth to unveil the I can the actually path. read Celestial. It's not on your Damn. sheet. Damn. I have Celestial, <laughs> too. I don't. I checked Harry's to be sure. I knew that he would be the first one to look. But nobody right. else nobody else said that they were looking to read it. So you just went straight to the quill, dummy. Anyway. <laughs> We can read it regardless. What does it say? What does it say again? I'm sorry. It says, reveal the truth to unveil the path. Okay. I relay this to the party. Reveal the truth. All right. All right. So when I was five, there was this boy. Oh, God. <laughs> he was, I liked him. I haven't told anybody this. Oh. But... He's like so fucked. <laughs> There was a time in my life that I tried adventurous things. <laughs> and I go on and on and it fade to black and I tell y'all this deep dark secret. I've revealed my truth. You know, uh, Gail, you could have just said you were bi or gay and that would have been like very fine with the rest of us. I mean, we almost died to monsters a bun bunch of times, so... You know, yeah, I'm I not mean, sure about that hasn't part come with the, up, at the dog. You know, this is not really how you introduce yourself, but you know, I mean, I'm up for whatever, you know, I'm just, you know, I, I'm experiencing things, you know. I love tea now. I didn't know that yesterday. How do you know what you like until you try it? Give it a go I'm, and hey. I'm just not sure streaking at the dock would have been at my docket for things to you know, try out, but, you know. You gotta, you, you only live once, and, and, and when, I'll tell you, when you get near-death experiences like I'm having right now, I'm up for anything. Don't and when the old lady me. came up with her shoe, <laughs> I thought you were gone for sure. I mean, I'll try story. anything, you know, anything. Just, you know, y'all can just throw some stuff out there and I'll do it. It's all right. Uh, Harry, you doing anything important in there? I'm, I'm not sure. Feel free you, to come in. What are you reading? I uh, reveal the truth to reveal the past. Was that right? Yes. I reveal the like truth to unveil at me every three the path. Seconds. Yeah, path reveal past. the truth to unveil the path. Okay, thank you. Uh, Freya's been swatting at me like every three seconds during this session. I should <laughs> probably just lock her out. I'm cautiously walking around and and I'm just kind of like <laughs> wobbling. Just cautiously and... <laughs> walking around. He's hitting <laughs> every trap on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I got this. And uh, I look over at these symbols and stuff in the middle of the room. Should I stop him? I ask Gravy. No, I mean, if you want to be careful, you can leave the room and let him, you know. Well, I'd hate to abandon him in here. It's not abandoned. I can heal him. Harry moves closer to the carpet side with the stairs. So you're approaching, uh, here, I will... Sidestepping the circle, not stepping in it. Wait, where the fuck is it? Ah! Ah! <laughs> As you get closer... <laughs> I, this is what I did when you guys took your break. Like, I literally was, like, <laughs> rushing. <laughs> when so, I was... If I drew I this map... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, my hands are shaking really bad because my arms are fucked up. Uh, so the mirror is glowing above it. The kind of rim around the edge glows a little stronger than the inside, which is kind of swirling marble cloud. Below it, 
are four stone pillars covered in different kind of runes and pictures and um there's a table before the stone pillars and on the table there are uh four items And what did these above, four items look like? Above the stone pillars, um, you can tell in Celestial, uh, those of you that can read it, um, each of the pillars is labeled on the top. Illusion, Revelation, Wisdom, and Truth. I'm wondering uh, I, if my character sheet in Roll20 is missing some of my languages. I was having trouble with the Roll20 character sheet, so I swapped over to... Mm -hmm. uh, I think that maybe, might be the case, yeah. just because you have some manual inputs as well on top of your... Uh, natural outcomes oh, i'm sorry about that that's probably confusing that's okay well, you have to, do, you have a thing the quill but i do say out loud i read the celestial and i go oh harry you can read celestial too yes wow yes i can I don't have it's to very use it very often. You guys found this quill before you got to this cave. The quill Thank definitely helps. I'm very rusty. <laughs> so you I said thought it were... said relish and mayo, but I think it says relish <laughs> revelation and... I don't know what that is. <laughs> Wisdom. There it is. Reveal the truth to unveil the path. Yes. Wait... Harry, what was that thing that you read? Re reveal the truth. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> reveal the truth to unveil the path. Okay. To unveil the past. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna write that in chat. Thank so you. <laughs> just so that, yeah. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, so then maybe we have to find the insignia that resembles this truth, and I kind of point to the winged insignia reveal the truth and then maybe kind of recommend hey guys like look for this symbol in the room um unless there's some sort of like internment spot here or something in yeah, the is pillar that a blank or is, is it, it like a little box to put something in uh, so in the it? center of each of the stone pillars is a like a little shelf that you could possibly put something, put something in, in. So guys, we we should try to find uh, the corresponding images, uh, and I point to the bottom of like. Well, I think those are items. Are they not? Are those physical items or just? Images? Oh. These, these are physical items sitting on like a like a placemat. Oh, okay. I see. So we have to put. Each one square of and hole in okay. one of the holes. Yeah. So, so we need to put the right the item in the hole. The map, and then me making this this way, that this is a fucking session for six-year-olds. Yeah. Now, the art is great. No, I'm not going to say this. The art <laughs> is, is insanely detailed. I got what you're trying to put in. But, down, yeah. but uh, can you maybe give us a little bit of a description on each of the four items that we see? Or no. A diamond, a square... A Easy. A man doing the splits <laughs> right, and a I dragon's see a 2D, I see a 2D square, a 2D diamond. <laughs> oh, it was a pendant. Mr. Delirium. <laughs> and a lightning bolt or a feather. Yeah. Um, I'll keep drawing them as your guess. How about that? Yeah. I look I look around the room for the two <laughs> truth symbols that are we know of. All right. I see a bird, a cloud, and a question mark. I see a tree, a sun, I see a sun and a girl, and I see a tank and a crack in the wall. A tank? Oh, I see it. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but... What the fuck do you see? To me, it looks like an old old uh, game. like with a little uh, tank. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. I'm looking um, for the snowflake and wheat on the right one around the uh, room. Oh, that's what you see, huh? That's like what I see. clouds right now. What does it look like to I you? This is, a, this is a roar shark test. Yeah, it's a roar shark test. What it's do you see, Gene? Definitely a butthole. Top right. You see All right, Gene. Have you checked your butt? <laughs> you, you don't get I see it. Definitely a butthole. Yeah. The truth. I knew my story was right. 
I'm gonna ask that Gene and uh, Gail stop uh, giving input <laughs> as I turn it As I turn it in. It's so long that Gail dies. With the butthole, okay. All right, this is gonna get demonetized. I'm just gonna let you okay, know. Okay, I'm gonna recording. put. <laughs> I'm gonna put what I think is the wing. I'm gonna put the bottom right token in the okay. wisdom pillar. All right. I'm gonna have to draw it. Just. All right, guys. <laughs> That's my contribution. <laughs> you think the wing with the wisdom. Wing with the bird. I mean, I have no idea what the square and the triangle are. Maybe or, the no, woman it's not a wants triangle, it's a diamond. Sorry. Maybe the woman wants a diamond. No homo. Ah, maybe it's like it's there, yeah. best friend. I have or no so idea what the called. illusion is. The illusion That's, will yeah, be the I'm last so one. <laughs> We're trying to break illusion, potentially. Um, Maybe the truth, the truth is square, because it's boring. There's uh, truth with, with one line to, from it. Now a little bitty other squiggly line, and a six. Um, D6. I don't know. Brilliant. You're going to have to get locked out. You are distracting me, and I need every brain cell in my body. Dean, man, you're smart. Come on. He probably already solved it. He's <laughs> unbelievable at puzzles. I know he's probably... This is his thing, you know? This is where he shines. Guys, I did my part. He's okay, it's a million <laughs> freaking puzzle games in his day, and he's like, I've seen this one before. I'm not going to say anything. Now, in, in these things, he's, like, so amazing at puzzles in D&D. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Obviously, from the sixth level, level yeah. of Sonic Adventure. Duh. Yeah, this man said finger butthole. He's real genius. <laughs> Try finger butthole. Finger the butthole. Finger the... That's... No. <laughs> For a second here, he's like, I got it! Wait, no. No, that's <laughs> salt. So as you place the item here, uh -huh. it is... Uh, the glow. item is a... A, sh a mirrored shard. When you place it in this... Um, section, it kind of glows faintly. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm telling you guys, so I saw I'm just going to start randomly gross. doing it, right? I'm going to, I don't know. This item on the table beside it is a, is a glowing amulet. It glows like a, a deep purple color, like the, um, the fungi behind it. The item beside it is a, Ancient leather bound tome. Can I see that oh. for a second? And the last item is a crystal prism. Crystal prism. I, I'm assuming these colors align with the, the with the mushrooms in the room closest to the pillar, but I can't Yeah. I guess I, that's I can't a question. Remember which yeah. one was which. <laughs> uh Cricket, is this the puzzle or should we refer to the other room for any information? I would I would say focus on the the pillars. Okay. First, okay, cool. and then if you can't figure something out, maybe you can okay. refer to the rest of the room. Uh, um, Gail, don't put random shit in the magic puzzle, please. I just, <laughs> what if I put this in there? No. <laughs> it serves his finger up his ass. <laughs> no. You're lucky you took the magical sword away from me. I was gonna try that. All right, Harry, I mean, you're educated, you can read, you also understand Celestial. I mean, come on, contribute. Over the table, Harry's intelligence is very high, but his wisdom is very low. <laughs> Under the table, <laughs> fucking make a decision. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Harry, you, you said a bird is invent. fine, but that was the wing, right? Is Gene, have you been we're... speaking? Because you've been muted for me for like a long time. Nope, I haven't said anything. Okay. He's already figured it out. He's, he's, he's going to let us morons figure it out. <laughs> this guy's just watching his <laughs> dumbass. How long it takes a <laughs> drunk man to figure out a puzzle. Um, so you, you have an advantage because you played Pictionary with Cricket by now, <laughs> and you know her art. 
You're like, oh, no. I've seen. I know what all these. Okay, no, I you see this? this? I'm gonna put the prism with the girl because it looks like a diamond. Oh shit, that's the wrong one. Fuck, sorry. I meant to. Sorry, I meant to put the the necklace with the illusion, and then the book with the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And when you <laughs> place the items in, they all begin to kind of faintly glow. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and then you see the mirror above the stone pillars, like, kind of start to fade to what becomes, like, a, a pictured reflection. You can almost make it out. And then you see, like, the fog from the front of the mirror kind of uh, start coming off of the mirror. and float towards you guys and the mm. mushrooms from the room kind of start to glow a little brighter and you um you start coughing oh fuck everybody in the room is now affected with confusion <laughs> Bill is already there so wait i'm confused <laughs> i'm sorry did what? it work or not <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna guess no. I think I'm confused. I think no. Did they all glow, Cricket? I'm sorry. It, there, there was a faint glow each time you placed it in there. It the mirror. Stable. It, it was just a faint glow, and then the mirror began to kind of act like it was gonna clear up, and then it emitted a what seems to be a toxic fucking smoke cloud because you guys are like choking on it, and everybody is experiencing an aura of confusion. I, chance, try again. I try and knock something out of the pillars. <laughs> um, the smoke stops pumping out of the mirror and the mushrooms as soon as you should remove one of the the items. Alright. Alright. Look. I don't know if this means anything, but there how many how many squiggly lines do y'all see under truth? Are there six? Seven? There's th one, two, three, Wait. four, five. There's six. Yeah. Six there's Red, six pink, on the purple, book. teal, blue, green. I don't know. Six oh. colors. Six on the top. I was looking at the butthole. But we already put that one there. It could have been right. Um, Sorry. Wing in the cloud. My Go ahead. My, no, no. My, Je my, Je suggestion. Je <laughs> my suggestion would be try one of them in all four and see if it glows differently. So you know you're getting the right answer or not. Yeah, that's what I was going to no, do. But nobody told me to randomly do it. <laughs> so everyone's affected by confusion, so I need everyone to give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> I got to roll twice. It'll be the lowest one. Yeah, Gene, I don't want your input now. <laughs> I rolled a two. <laughs> you said a wisdom saving throw? Yes. <laughs> Three. She doesn't uh, yeah, deserve to the give me three. A <laughs> Not the twenty. All right. Y'all ever see Sanford and Son? Yeah. I'm the old man. I'm coming for you. <laughs> coming for you. Ready for death. New. <laughs> So, Gal, you are at a disadvantage, correct? Yeah, I'm at severe disadvantage. <laughs> All right. So, um, Gravy and Jean, you are not confused. Um, Harry and Gal, you are. So, I need each of you to roll a d10. Do I need to roll two d10s for and you choose nope. the lowest? Just one. Okay. Just one. It's a three. <laughs> one. <laughs> all right, Harry. You're going to use all of your movement and you're going to take off in a random direction. To determine <laughs> the direction, you're going to roll a d8. I'll roll that for you. 
All right. You're going to run straight back towards the door that you came in your max movement. Just keep and track of it me out here. Because we'll, I'll have to switch between the, the puzzle screen and not. And then, mm -hmm. Gil, you are... You're going to make a melee attack against. Hmm. I'm glad I gave the sword away. Roll a d. Roll a d4 for me. Four. Against Nat Cherry. Four. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you want me to roll a like? Can it be with anything? Can I just like swing my fist or whatever? Yeah, it can be anything. Melee attack. All right, I don't want to hit her like with the freaking great axe. All right, so what would uh, somebody tell me what a fist roll would be? A hand, just a swing. Yours, uh, unarmed, would just be D20, uh, strength, guess, strength plus proficiency. It'd be a D20 twice, disadvantage, so that's a five to hit. Five plus strength and proficiency? Yeah. Five to hit, and I swung towards. What's your strength bonus? And what's your what's strength your and proficiency? Uh, my strength. My strength bonus is a three. So ten. So, so, so. Ten to hit. Ten to hit. So Cherry sees you coming because you're like a big lumbering orc, and she's like, "What the fuck?" And like, uh, "What the fuck?" She just kind of, she just kind of like, judo like moves out of the way and like, sends you kind of uh, rolling past her <laughs> onto the ground and dodges your attack. Um, all right, so. Nice. Right now it's just Jean and Gravy solving this puzzle. All right, G. Uh, before Gel went all confused. Uh, Cherry's guarding the door behind you guys, by the way. I guess that makes sense. The six book goes in truth. That one makes the most common sense to me. But I understand what you mean, Jean, to put one in at a time and see how it reacts. I was thinking you put one in all four slots separately and see how it reacts yeah. so you, you can know if it glows differently when you have the right answer right uh, oh well i mean based on the confusion poison that just came out i think we should true. try to answer with some puzzle logic yeah that's true i just think so far i think the wing makes sense just because the bird yeah. question mark i don't fucking know man it's not, it's not a wing, remember? It's a mirrored shard. It's a shard of a, a broken mirror. Oh. Okay. Um, and then the second one is an amulet. The purple is an amulet. It's glowing. The third is a leather-bound tome, like a big book. Yeah. And the, and the fourth on the left is a crystal prism. What about okay, the so actual images on the pillars? Is That, that I'm not going to tell you, because that's... That's the puzzle. Those are like okay. runes and puzzles, right? I'll take the shard out of wisdom and just put the book in truth and see if the colors glow different or like brighter based on... But I'll take the shard out of wisdom. And okay. just put the... Yeah. And like, I'll draw lines. So yeah, I'll put the book in truth since there's six lines. Okay. Um, and then I'll just draw a line so you don't have to, like, draw it. Um, is there, like, a heavier glow, a brighter glow based on the book, or is it the same glow as the it's shard? It's the same was... flint glow as when you, uh, placed any of the others. Maybe we put mirror in truth? You're confused. <laughs> I'm also not in the room. <laughs> My first guess was the book would go into wisdom. Um, okay, I'll put the book in wisdom. So your book's in wisdom. Same color glow. Same color glow. Okay, cool. I'll take the book and put it into <laughs> revelation. See if it's the same color glow. Same color glow. I'll put it in illusion. And again, the same color. 
Okay, cool. Ah. <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, I All still right. think the book would go to wisdom just personally, but I'm not obviously. Okay, I'll put the book in wisdom. So. I'll put the book in wisdom. Um, what do you think goes in illusion, Gene? Also, can you uh, turn um, Gal around? He keeps bumping into the wall. <laughs> Y'all just see me in the corner trying to take a piss. No, you mean Harry. <laughs> <laughs> like a drunken guy at a bar. Night. Harry just like pressing his nose against the door. Please behind you. Uh, Cherry, uh, just k keep the kids in the room. Okay, book. So I was wisdom. Mirror for illusion. Mirrored shard goes in illusion. Prism goes in revelation because of the sun. Try it. Woman wears an amulet. Woman wears an amulet and the sun shows up. I don't know. You have a crystal prism, a glowing an ancient amulet. tome, and a glowing amulet, and a mirrored shirt. So the prism goes in truth because at, at the bottom image is light going into a prism and then scattering into a rojibiv. Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay, prism in truth. Also Book the name in of the wisdom. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> Prism in truth to dis to, to refract light. Book in wisdom because that bird's fucking confused. <laughs> Amulet in revelation, because we all know bitches love jewelry. <laughs> and then mirrored shard in illusion oh, because yeah. mirrors are an illusion. So all four items are placed in their respective boxes. They glow a lighter <laughs> kind of shade of blue, and it starts to get uh, brighter. The mirror starts to clear, and you see the fog and the smoke kind of clearing off of the mirror. And then you see in the reflection of the mirror that behind you, in the room, in the reflection of the mirror, is a doorway. I want you to know, Cricket, that was in pretty sexist of you. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches love jewelry. Yeah, that was pretty sexist, just by the way. <laughs> in the, uh, in the uh, doorway, it, it's actually here. <laughs> I'm just holding Gil's <laughs> elbow. The door is here. It was behind the mirror itself. So the doorway is here. <laughs> Can I slap the confusion out of these guys? I'm lucky that they didn't just run into the fucking mushrooms and get... <laughs> right. Get gut. Get blasted. Get gut. With ma massive confusion. <laughs> All right. So Cherry just kind of like tiptoes around and she's like, I think we should get out of here. This makes me uneasy. And then she heads towards the door. Um, she kind of like leans up against it and like puts her ear near it to listen for what's on the other side. She opens the door and steps out. Oh, onto God. What appears to be a secret to her. <laughs> I'm uh, Harry, you good? Or go over to Harry. What now? What? Harry, we solved the puzzle. Come on. So, oh, Gel oh. and Gel and Harry, um, roll me a D eight. Wait, roll me D twenty. Roll me D twenty. Sorry, do you want one or two from me? I want you to roll 1d20. Okay, because I have disadvantage on pretty much everything. So. Yeah. I got a 12. Okay. 
Gail, you're starting to um, clear up and uh, not be as confused, and you manage to kind of like follow Cherry towards the door. Harry, you want me to roll for you? Sure. I didn't know if you're like not at your PC or not. But... I am. Oh, roll me a d20. Five. Harry, you are still lost as fuck. Uh, nose to the door. <laughs> Somebody's gonna have to. Yeah, I'm, Harry. I'll grab Harry. Lost as fuck, boy. <laughs> All right, are we moving forward? You are. So those of you that are have dark vision, you can see. All right, Harry, this way. Okay. As you step out onto a wooden dock, you see moving black figures in front of you that rush towards you. And everybody roll initiative. Just to remind you, I uh, have do you want the tracker open? Gift of alacrity, so I get D8 on top. Okay. Would you like the tracker open first or no? Oh, yes, thank you. I gotta delete everyone from last time. Hold on. Beep boop, pop, boop. And I have to input everybody. We can just roll again and then you can change it, yeah. We can change our own numbers. I'll roll for cherry. Just make sure you click on your icon. What do we have to do? To what were you saying? Click on your icon to do what? Click on your icon, roll initiative, and then you should be able to change. Where, where the do number. you see roll initiative on there? Oh my bad, I forget. You use uh, so roll twenty. I don't your, know. Click on your character token and then roll initiative like you just did. I mean, I was using my character sheet. Yes, before. that's correct. But you have to yeah, yeah, yeah. the token first. Okay. And now you can yep. edit the seven to whatever you rolled. And if you use your, if you click on your character token and you use the little cogwheel at the bottom left and you click it, it's there's a button to open character sheet. Mm -hmm. You can just go straight from there and roll initiative. Why is mine not changing when I change? I like type in the initiative thing to 17, but it's not taking it. <sighs> Did you press enter or whatever? Press no. it. Oh, there, there we go. go. Yeah. I was trying to click somewhere else after typing it. Yeah, sorry, old man. <laughs> it's okay. I'm actually pretty young. You know what I'm young. Fifty. Gals really young. young yeah. I'm eighteen in Orkish. <laughs> so I should be like a twenty five year old human or something like that, I think. Halfway to death. I have no idea how old I am. Chronologically. There's a swarm of spiders coming towards you. Uh, I love Wait, someone get a newspaper? <laughs> get some raid going. Raid! <laughs> you turn to the right. There's another swarm of sp spiders coming towards you. Uh. And those of you with dark vision can see in the distance... A third set of spiders towards you. I'm not a big fan of spiders, IRL. Neither am I. They can just stay away from me and I won't bother them. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of little things that crawl. Don't like roaches either. You've got too many legs. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure you have your full 60 feet. Oh god, swarms. I don't like, uh, like, millipedes or centipedes or whatever they're fucking oh, worries. Oh, mm. centipedes are the worst. I've only make seen skin crawl. Yeah. a millipede, like, or a centipede twice here. In the entire 25 years I've lived here. Oh, they're and like popular here one Enough they're re really popular where i grew up but 
one of those I saw was crawling up G's leg in the living room. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah I, uh, we, Aren't we you Aussie, yeah. G? Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm not scared of spiders or anything. I was going to say, you're like literally living in death. Something like that. This guy's afraid of millipedes? What the fuck? <laughs> we, we don't usually have that shit, so. Yeah. Well, it depends on the size. Some of them are really gross looking, and spiders are kind of just spiders. Yeah. I live with millipedes, but not centipedes. Yeah, centipedes are super gross. I guess I had to study bugs a little bit, so I got over a lot of my fears, but I uh, still don't like them. When I was a kid, I woke up in the morning with a roach on my lip. Uh, uh, uh. My cousin woke up with a praying mantis on her face once. Oh my god. My friend Richard in college grew up like really, really poor. Like they lived on Skid Row in LA and his mom was a drug addict and just basically abandoned him when he was like six years old. And he raised his brother and he would like take like four buses to school and like got to college on a scholarship and like he told me one time that uh, when he was really, really little, right after his mom abandoned him, he fell in a sewer, and he was <laughs> up to his—he was up to his neck in cockroaches. Oh, oh! Like, like the full thing was just all bugs. Like, oh, kind of no me. amount of therapy will wipe that away. <laughs> he's a—he's oh, actually a research psychiatrist and researches like psychiatry stuff, and like he had been through so much therapy already to try to deal with that, like. Every time I think of it, I'm like, oh my god, that's literally so many people's nightmares. Alright, anyways, so... Not only was that hella depressing, that was hella disturbing. <laughs> yeah, he, he had a really crazy life. I hope he's getting better. Gene, it's your turn. <laughs> when he found out I was dating somebody that was bipolar, he flew to Colorado to tell me to break up with them. Or <laughs> schizophrenic. That's a fucking bro. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, I've studied this shit, and, like, their lives are just, like, you don't want to be <laughs> Get out. on that ride. Yeah. Uh, anyways, Gene, you're first. Nice. Uh, I'm going to move forward, and I'm going to test the waters. I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast at Spider Group 1. Wow. Twenty-five to hit. So these are just like small rock walls. They're not full walls. They're like three foot high, I'd say. Okay. And I'm sorry. Where's my button? Twenty-five to hit. You hit. And then eleven force damage. So I squish him. So the force damage pushes him back, right? No. Well, actually, yes, because of my. Uh, Eldritch, Eldritch. Invocations, invocations, but not normally, no. Uh, so how far does it push him back? Ten feet. Oh, I just read it, sorry. So you push him back ten feet here, beside his bro. Yep. And he is... Squished. Pretty... crumpled. <laughs> but still moving. Of course. Uh, and... I think that's it. All right. Harry. Was Harry, I guess I need to roll again to see if I'm not confused. Yes, thank you for reminding me. Um, can you roll a d20 for me? 15. First. Hooray. You are no longer confused. You are suddenly very clear of mind. It was the threat of spiders coming from all directions. You know. All right, let's see. Is it a swarm or are they big spiders? There are multiple swarms. So they're like, I would say, you know, like 10, 15 uh, like little baby spiders in each swarm. And there's four different swarms. I don't like Eels. those. But they're about as big as your palm. Wait till they Ultron and become one giant spider. That would be ideal. <laughs> I feel like I'm being a really bad DM, guys. Wait. I'm sorry. You're what fine. You, what makes you say that? Oh, I just don't feel prepared. You saw the map. Oh, oh good news. That feeling never uh, goes uh, away. Yeah, yeah I don't, don't worry, bro. I have time into this shit. I'm, like, not yeah. the best on, like, knowing who rules what. I'm having fun. And usually my strength is the story and the maps, and I 
am failing those. Oh. Much, so. That hey. never goes away. All You're right. doing great. If it makes you feel any fun. better, yeah. It's, yeah, it so, sucks every time. I don't care so much if I'm doing great, but just that you're having fun. So give me feedback. I'm having you. fun. So. All right. Um, this is how I feel right now. Hold on. So your arrow is still glowing, though, right? <laughs> mm. That's how I feel, Cricket Frowny Face. Wow. Since you feel bad, happy face. Oh, in the chat. I was like, what? Oh. So you feed off misery. I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you're doing a great job, and it's all in your head. Uh, well, I always feel that way because I am a like I like to be a very prepared person, and when I'm not, I hate that. Yeah, it's rough. Don't worry, you can continue to hate yourself. We won't stop you. I actually think I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, Good. I don't hate myself. Good. Um. All right. So your arrow is lit up. Thanks for all the um. Self-esteem, and what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. Harry's like, oh shit, what's my, happening? My brain is functioning in zigzags right now. Uh, I'm gonna... I guess I'm gonna launch my light arrow. Is it like a Zelda light arrow where they just die? That would be nice. It's like I'm a gonna... small shooting star. Ooh. Swarm number two. Do I roll disadvantage or anything for that? Nope. Okay. Nope. Shit. Ten. So your arrow is so beautiful and flies directly over the head of the swarm of spiders, much to everyone's That's... disappointment. Well, you know what? It still lights up. You know, the general area, so... Even the spiders stop welcome. and kind of look up at it like a beautiful shooting star. Ooh. And, oh, and then turn back to you guys like thread eyes. It's Costa Rica all over again. <laughs> <laughs> so many spiders. Yeah, I always want to go to Costa Rica, and then I thought about, like, the fucking gnats and bugs, mosquitoes, and spiders, and I was like... Hey. I will tell you about what I saw. For one thing, as soon as you step out of the bus, humid as fuck. Yep. And I live in a humid state, and it was more humid than that. Damn. And then... It's a rainforest. Yeah, it's a rainforest. And then I was staying in the bathroom in the hostel, but there was, like, a gnat swarm that was coming in. And I saw, like, just this huge corpse of, like, a big wing gnat on the bathroom counter. And, like, 20 ants came out of nowhere, picked up the corpse together, and took it down the wall. What the fuck? And I'm, the, like, a buffet that, for bugs. Like, if there's yeah. a gnat swarm around, they're going to bite me, even if they're not biting. <laughs> the leaf cutter ants were neat. I really can't deal with bugs. The other Yours, are you are here because you've been quiet for a really long time. I just want to make sure. What? Huh? Okay. <laughs> I know that we sidetrack, but I just want to make sure like you weren't missing parts when we started again. All um, right. Yeah. Uh, leaf cutter ants. Resume. They were pretty. It was humid. It rained a lot, but it was pretty. The people were nice, would never go back way too hot. Yeah. I'd also be afraid to get in the water, you know. You should be, and be afraid to go out in the jungle at night. They have jaguars. There's an island in the <clears throat> Bahamas, someone like that anyway, Caribbean maybe, where they literally fly airplanes over spraying insect repellent or poison or whatever. So there's no bugs on the entire island. Jesus. Oh. Yeah. Just lots of cancer and people... Yeah, I was gonna say that's slightly depressed. Like that's such a human. Yeah. They don't care because they can just pay, pay for the cancer cure. Right. With all that vacation money they're getting. So human. <laughs> all right, Gail, it's your turn. Unless right. you want to move or something, I'm sorry, Harry. No, I, I, I'm good now. Uh, just for the record, you lose a reaction on your next turn, as do as does Gail. Okay. Here. Wait, on this, this, okay, I don't know. This, this church Just let me know when I can react. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to rage. Ah. 
Bill is sleep uh, deprived in real life. I'm gonna confused. Thumb forward to about here. And recklessly, which gives me advantage to my disadvantage. So normally I will attack with great axe against the swarm. And just to remind you what reckless attack does, you get you should have advantage on me if you attack me afterwards. And I'm gonna swing one back great axe. And I got a seven to hit, and it misses. And I frowned, oh. and that's my turn. And it did miss, and you did frame. Damn, son. All right, Gravy. Um, uh, Cricket, let me know if this fits just like how you style your play, but I essentially would like to hold. Oh, I didn't mean to cast. I just meant to display it. But um, what's the radius on this? Ten foot radius. I'd like to hold a shatter spell until the swarms run up to Gel. Um, essentially, the cube would look like uh, one, two, three, four. This is the cube I can make with a shatter spell, but I'd like to at least hit like these guys who are gonna run up to Gel at some point. Given that I, I go, it, it like yeah, I'd like to be at the end. Um, and then also one more thing is uh, unless it's on your initiative, there's no spider four on initiative as well. You bastard. Just to, just so you get as much damage as possible. I see one and three. I don't see... Okay, there's two. I see one, two, three, but not four. So just giving you a heads up. Oh, I would have been lost anyways. There we go. Oh, sick as fuck, yeah. Uh, uh, I, so yeah, I would like to hold a reaction to cast Shatter um, when three swarms come north of Gil. So, you know, maybe I could waste my spell if it doesn't work out, but I would like to hit as many of them as possible. Um, so in the meantime, uh, you're super concentrating. Yeah, I'm just like humming. Uh, I kind of fart a little bit. Tuning your... Yeah, I'm tuning and tooting. All right. So then the... Uh, I'm, cl I'm clapping spider... my cheeks. My cheeps are clapping. Swarm of spiders too. What is this uh, session? <laughs> it's already here. Uh, and uh, bites with all their tiny little mouths. Ew. Gal's ankles. Autumn. Seventeen hits. I'm assuming. Oh yeah. You get to roll yeah, with yeah. advantage. Yeah, you might get a nat crit. So. No, I'm just going to leave it. Okay. And... That's nine piercing damage. Yep. Damn. It's halved at least. Oh, good. Uh, Cherry comes running out of nowhere and uh, runs up to the swarm here. Takes her short sword out, kind of hacks at the spiders. Four damage to the spiders. Damn. And oh, cherry. That uh, 
but ends the spider's life. No, it doesn't. I lied. <laughs> Nobody's hit the spiders, these spiders yet, right? Right. That's yeah, one Gelm. Gelm is... Only three. They should or be only terrified. One. Only one's been hit, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's changed the health on all of them because I didn't make separate characters. That's why. Dude, I hate that so much. That happened to me during like a big fight a couple weeks ago. And I was like, this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> I was like, why even make them represent the a token? Like. Yeah, you have to use a temporary hit points one, so. Yeah. Whatever. All right. And then uh, Swarm One. It's got its eyes on Jean. See Jean from across the room. Bring it, baby. And it see can climb up the sides of the walls to twenty feet. Drops down right in front of Jean and bites his ankles. Ooh, get fucked. That was with disadvantage too. Ten piercing damage. Oh. Uh, four is going to do the same one, to crawl along the ceiling and drop down right behind Gel. Hey there, friend. Don't forget you have advantage on him. Yep. <laughs> and then... Hey! They miss. They're so terrified. I think it's just that I'm so tired and like area. stumbling around. <laughs> I don't know how you roll uh, an outwoman advantage. Yeah, yeah you, you can, can roll, roll twice. Flat. It's showing flat. It's showing one roll, cricket, just in case you are wondering. No, it's because, um,. If if the oh the spider has disadvantage and then advantage, I see. Okay. Yes, if it has uh, less than half of its health or more than half of its health. Makes sense. So, yeah, mm -hmm. sorry. Um, so this is this when you want to use your spell because this is probably as close as they're gonna. It would be when Spider Three comes in. All right, so Spider Three comes in. On the ceiling, drops down. I fart. Top of Gil. Yeah. Um, I did previously cast the spell, so I don't expect to reroll. But if you want me to reroll, I can. No pressure. Uh, the the three of them would need to roll a Constitution save. All right. So go ahead and cast your spell. We'll roll before they attack. Okay. Would you like me to? Use the first roll or just this new roll? The first roll. Okay. 16 thunder. Difficulty 13. Whoa. Can you stop? No. Whoa! Flipping my arms up off of the computer. Yeah, they all rolled shit. Yeah, they all take sixteen damage. They just uh, fucking explode. So my hands clap, my cheeks vibrate, a disgusting fart rips through the room, and uh, a thunderous uh, 
shake of the cavern um, sunders most of the spider bodies. Uh, you cast it here, correct? Yes, because uh, it's like a 10 foot, so just each okay. square, a 10 sure foot radius. Radiating out. Yeah. My fart is radiating, but the shatter is, is contained. All three of them dead. What remains is Swarm 2. Gene, it's really bad, Gene. by the way. Harry's, like, wafting away the air with his hand, yeah. like... Everybody oh, is a little I... bit disoriented from the fart and from the thunder yeah. clapping and from the explosion of spider and bodies. From, and from my cheeks clapping, too. Yeah, that's too. Yeah. But, Gene, it's one of those where, like, it instantly hits your nose, you know? <laughs> I'll be right back. The speed of fart. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> Makes <place>. yeah. <laughs> That's legit. Uh, that one. Okay. Thirteen hits. Nine fours. I think it's dead. Type Four plus nine, thirteen. I think so. Uh, it's dead. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! And all of the spiders are dead. You have a chance to kind of look around you at their combat over leg shriveled corpses. To survey yeah. the damage and the area that you stepped out into, into an instant fight. Interesting. So we've killed the swarms? You have killed the swarms. You see what appears to be a much larger opening to the cave. There is uh, kind of like a narrow passageway moving through into larger openings. Um, Passaging parallel to the building that you came out of, and you can see and hear the sound of water dripping more, and uh, appears to be kind of like a big, like a dry riverbed or a dry lake bed. Mm. You're standing on a dock right now. Okay. Some of you can't actually see. Yeah. Well, I, I know Gel wants to move south, so I'd, who, if I you just want to just... see if this is a path or if this is yeah, a dead end. Yeah. I don't have to go first. Whoever you want to describe first is fine. I'm guessing whatever this is going to stop you. So... Is that something that stops me? She's not at a computer. Quickly gray lines. All right. What? Where? Where you are? Was I able to walk down to this place, or was there this the gray little so, stuff there stop me? Yeah, or? as you like, as you approach, you can just see. Uh, okay, it's like a dead. It's a end. dead end. There's walls, yeah. some like bones in the corner. Here to be animal bones. I look at the animal bones. You. Do I know anything about animal bones? Probably not. Do I know what uh, type of animal bones these are? Let me see. Let me get your shit. Are they no, human? you don't. You just appear to be various animal bones. Okay. Probably a place that in a corner of the cave that they just kind of toss them. Eating. There's some dead animal bones. Well, I mean, live animal bones. I don't know. This is all, you know, how you look. Harry at looks it. to see if the bones are alive. <laughs> uh, oh, Grady, after you've picking up, up the light arrow. Yeah, I'm close on the riverbed, but Harry can go. Harry, you're going in that corner now? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I picked up my light arrow and I'm just checking the bones because Gil's like alive, dead, and I'm like, are they alive? And I'm just checking. And it appears to you just to be uh, like small animal bones, like maybe those of uh, a, of a deer or like a raccoon or something like that that people have 
probably from what they've been eating based on what you've studied. Convinced that they're dead, I go back. <laughs> and yes, they are dead. Rejoin. Excuse me. <laughs> Looks at a grave. They're dead. <laughs> Just making sure. I was going to say, this is one of those games where you actually have to check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Cricket the makes gravy. it n- not comfy. As you uh, approach, like, kind of the edge of the riverbed, you see, um, like, open before you is the large gate that you guys had run into in the front of the building. Mm -hmm. And... um, it's much like the one that you guys had run into in the front of the building. And um, in between, like these are the areas you can actually see, you know. You see some small like stone piles. These are the walls of the cavern that you can see. But you can see that there's like a kind of like a pond forming around the edges of this wall from your, where you're standing. Yeah, kind of like... Um... It overflows, fills the next, overflows, fills the next type Correct. of thing. Correct. Yeah. Whatever that's called. Um, I okay. Uh, I mean, you guys have Gail all seen can... this. I'm not, like, trying to hide shit. Well, now I forgot because my brain is rotted. But, um, <laughs> hey, can we... Before we cross the river, guys, maybe we should look over here to see if there's anything else we're missing. Good idea. Yep. I'm going. I'll go right. with Gil. Gil and Gravy, as soon as you guys kind of turn that corner, you see uh, a larger kind of like pond-like area. And just below the surface of the water, you can see something uh, that seems like like a large stone... Uh, table or something like that below the water and you see a walkway made of stone um, going from this ledge here out to it these two lines are just like the edges of the walkway can i check this gate and see if it rise like rises or lowers or just swings open Mm. So this gate doesn't appear to have any uh, anything like it. Are you trying to push it open or? No, I just want to see if it has hinges or if it's like strung up with rope or chains or something. So roll uh, investigation. Okay. Nine. So you're able to... You're able to see that the the gate itself is uh, pretty sealed to the ground, but there is some water trickling underneath of it, and you're able to see kind of the reflection of of light off of metal from Harry's arrow. Uh, it as it is as if it is being held by chains. Maybe we should try to lower this, cut the water off. Sure, let's do that. Uh, where's the chain, Gene? Right there. Okay. <laughs> Somebody who can like see better, maybe? Yeah. I can see. What do okay. I see? I don't think you can so, get over there, Gravy. So from this angle, you guys can see that there's a... Uh, what appears to be like a, a lever over here. And a large cogwheel attached to it. And there's a, we can't cross this, right? We can't walk over here, right? Can we get to that lever from where we're at? You you could if you managed to get over there, but is I don't it know like if you deep cross water it or, or not. Is it? I you can't know. tell by looking at it because it is an opaque. Um, it's like an opaque kind of like stream where you're standing. I stick it's my ma- arrow in it. <laughs> 
the, so the water where you see the thing just below the surface is a little clearer and the water where you are is like chalky almost if that makes sense i'm sorry uh, is it like moving fast or is it just slow running water it's moving very slowly and harry when you stick your arrow in it it only goes down about six inches so the majority of the water is just mixing with the like riverbed like silt it's oh just, that's huge it's just very uh cloudy i do believe we could cross it you don't want me to cross it yep do it all right i'm gonna try to cross it get to the other side do i make it uh tell anything? me tell me how you managed to cross such it's a water right so I, I just went into the water you just sloshed through it yeah <laughs> okay you managed to reach the the lover leva 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 okay i'm gonna do like a dog shake <laughs> Try to shake the water off All right, so uh, y'all want me to pull this lever? I say to the the group. I guess. Okay, pull the lever. Yeah. All right, you can do it. Where you're standing, you can see all of this here. Uh, when you uh, pull the lever, the gate begins to raise, and water comes like rushing. I don't think that's what you wanted, but maybe it is. I don't know. Past it, and it, it immediately <laughs> starts getting uh, deeper very quickly, kind of overspilling. Other uh, way. Other way. I do it the Close other way. It. Close it, I guess. All right. So now you managed to release, like, 12 inches of water, and the creek is widened by about five feet on each side. Jeez. So you guys are spreading Back standing up. in the water now. Yep. <laughs> water kind of spreads throughout the cave and just like washes away. Try turning the cog nice. wheels. I change uh, I turn the cog wheel. All right, when you turn the cog wheel, you hear a kind of like a buckling clanging sound. And you hear the rushing of water, and then <laughs> I just saw Philip booking it like down the hallway into the room with like a toy in his mouth, like "Don't mind me." <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> and you see that uh, when the water kind of lowers a bit in the little pond area, that about two feet below the edge of the stone walkway that leads out to it is what appears to be uh, a large tomb. It is like a large black tomb. It is like a marbly black color. Seems to be unaffected by the water. Okay, Gal, go see what that is. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, no, Gal, no. <laughs> so is all this water gone around here now? Like the higher mm -hmm. levels? Not all of it, but the small level um, here, that like the pool you're standing by, mm -hmm. is below the edges of the stone that it would be pouring over the wall. So can I get so, down here and walk over to yep. the tomb? Or? Yeah, okay, it's less safely. than six inches tall, I would say. And then all when right. you get to the walkway, you can walk down to the tomb. When you look down, you see when you stand over top of it, uh -huh. that there is a hole in the top of the tomb. And you see something shining in the hole. I tell the group, I see something shining in the hole. That's what she said. Finger it. <laughs> Try finger butthole. It's the only solution. All right. What was the answer to the, the riddle before with the butthole? <laughs> it was a prism. What the hell is happening? <laughs> oh, anybody it was a prism. To, was the butthole. I don't think I have a prism. All right, what are you doing? What do, I don't what, know. I mean, it's it's a light. I look in the hole. Do I see anything besides the light? You just see the light. That's the only thing you can see in that. How big is the hole? Probably about four inches wide. A rude question. <laughs> Fuck you. 
Um, so, like, is I, I look at this tomb. Is it like a lid or anything? Any way to open it or move the lid or or is there a lid? I, I don't know what I'm talking. It about. appears to be like really heavy, like black marble. It looks uh-huh. like there is the edge of a lid, lid uh-huh. like a coffin would be. Like mm-hmm. you could slide across. I mean, okay. you're from the south. Uh- all right, so you can imagine what a tomb looks like. I'm gonna try to open the tomb. Do you, I'm gonna tell the group. I'm gonna try to open it. What do y'all think? Go ahead. All right, I'm opening it. Like, wa- waiting it. from the shore. Yeah. And I, I just kind of take my gra- uh, just, like, great axe and, and like, try and to pry like, it under it, you know, to get some again. leverage. All right. You've got it, buddy. Uh, when you pry. Uh, it to to get leverage. I want you to roll. Give me a strength check. Okay. So you're uh, able to lift it. Strength, 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 strength. Just a straight strength, yeah. Yep. Um, and I'm gonna roll it twice, and it'll be the lower one. Oh, I already. All right, so it'll be the nine. Whoa. It'll be the nine. Whoa. Bruce. All right. So you're able to kind of nudge it a little, but you can't move it more than an inch or two. I'm on. Do y'all want to be to keep trying because I got disadvantage, or does anybody want to help me? Or um, can you come back here? Wait, it's not deep, right? We can just go help you. We can yeah. just go help. Yeah, it's only. I'm like, not that. Should, I'm like a couple not inches. strong. Anybody get? Cherry, you look pretty strong. You're a giant. You want to yeah. help get the other side of this? Cherry shakes thing? her head, but she's like, I guess we're stuck in this now. Let's do it. Yeah. I'll cast... Uh, you, she gets one side, I get the other. We got this. I'll do Bardic on go. And... So I'm helping Cherry. Cherry rolls. And there's a Bardic. So roll your d6. You, oh, you want me to roll the d6? Okay. It's on Gal. It's on you. Yeah. Five. All right. And the two of you together are able to move the lid of the coffin aside. And you see lying inside is a... Corpse goes. that is not actually decomposed, but is the coffin is full of water, where the water's been pouring in um, over the body, but it is not decomposed, and you see a glowing amulet along the neck of said corpse. Anybody need an amulet? This feels <laughs> concerning. <laughs> hey, uh, Aaron, why is he? If the corpse is dead. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. very mm-hmm. cautiously goes up to inspect the corpse. <laughs> Real medicine. Six. You have no idea. Looking at it and the state that it's in, in water, it should be more decomposed. But it has like a lightning... Uh, lightening of the skin but it still has skin and fiber and hair and it is not just skeleton so he could have been dead for like a day or years there's no telling there's no telling by looking Uh, at him anyone but he is immersed in water still the water is kind of like lapping right up to the edge of where the coffin lid was is anyone more magically inclined to look at the amulet or Gene, give me an Arcana check. Sure. Fuck me. Get closer and give me an Arcana check. Sure. That 20. Gene, you can tell Jeez. just when you get close to the amulet that it is, like, radiating with magical power. Like, it hits you and almost knocks you off of the stone walkway. Damn. That's, uh, it's radiating with power. Yeah. That's one Gene, you know, after refocusing, looking at the amulet, 
that it is a magic uh it is one of the religious relics that you saw uh when you were reading about Neralis. Nice. It is the I'll pick it up. Scary. Yep. See if I get cursed. Luminary Amulet of Sahanin Moonbow. What the fuck? Write that down. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> Damn, Cricket. Had to steal my thunder, huh? How the fuck did you spell that out that fast? Did you Google it? <laughs> no, I know who Sahanin is. And I know, like, English, so. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Shocked. I don't know, like, Australian, so. Uh, it would have been. Crikey? Uh, so <laughs> the. Crikey, you, it. <laughs> you remember seeing this as belonging to Neralis, but you don't remember what it does. But you can feel the magic power just, like, beaming off of it. Yep, I'll pick it can up. I, can, I, can I try that on? Nope. <laughs> I don't know if it can help me. <laughs> This guy puts on everything. Gene just like yoinks it out of the. I mean, I don't yoink it, but I pick it up. Like I clasp <laughs> it and take it off. And I pet that down. <laughs> All right. So, what are you doing? You've just found this incredibly powerful magic amulet. Have you explained to them what you get off of it yet? Uh, I, I said it's a very powerful magic artifact. I didn't say who or what. Okay. Um, but I will say, uh, I think it has to do with Neralis. Oh, good. He's helped <laughs> us so much. <laughs> All right. What are we doing? Can I uh, try to wake the body? <laughs> like, shake oh. it? Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Just slap it. Uh, <laughs> Hello? <laughs> you shake it, nothing happens. All right. You should never know. Yeah. I'm in it. Can I? Can I? Pull its head off and like throw it in the corner. Just what the case. hell, man? <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> just in case it wakes up, it's got to find its heads first, all right? Definitely going to wake up. So, you want to try to pull its head off? Do y'all want me to do it? I'll do it. Hey, we're not the one who makes decisions, right? <laughs> I don't control you. <laughs> all right, I'm going to rip the head off. Fuck. All right, you rip the head off and you really struggle to try to get it off. Like, mm -hmm. it's. It's incredibly heavy. You can't Ooh. lift it, let alone turn it. Whoa. Is it heavy? Whoa. That heavy? Yeah. Go instantly disappears. Oh, great. And that's where we end. <laughs> bro, stop abusing these guys, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's in another dimension talking to Sahini now, bro. I just desecrated like a god's body or something. A hundred percent. Oh, yeah, you're fucked. Yeah. Remember when we were talking about reroll? You can just make a new character. Yeah, just go ahead and do that. <laughs> I would advise it. Uh, well, oh shit! Oh, let's shit. use the last few minutes then to talk about your new characters, uh, <laughs> since everyone dies after this. Uh, oh really? shit! Y'all should have controlled me. Nope. <laughs> I am not your keeper. <laughs> I even repeated it to say, "So you want to do this?" <laughs> Yeah, that's how you know when it's a good good move. Especially when you uh, you're under the impression that this was an amulet that belonged to a god, and the last time you took <laughs> something off of a god, it was you that disappeared. Not even somebody else. It was you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm exhausted after three days. And he was like, "Don't fuck around anymore," and then he sent you back. His head is, why right. is his head heavy? So I just figured he was a god. <laughs> I figured, well, I think because, you know, if you think about the fact that his body has been, like, not... Waterlogged. 
Yeah, waterlogged, but not suffered the destruction that water would do to something in a day, you know? Like, water destroys bodies in, like, a day. Two days, mm. maybe. And it's And it's do you not... know that because, Cricket? <laughs> Spare time. Uh, yeah. Done a lot of hunting and fishing. <laughs> done a lot of murdering. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so, Gene... Uh, when Gene wanted to change his character, I misunderstood what he wanted. I thought he was saying that he was already dual classing, and I just hadn't noticed. And he wanted to go down to one class. And so I didn't think it was that big of a deal. But uh, if you guys want to re-roll, you can. It's going to take, obviously, some time. But it will impact my story, so I need everyone to be okay with it, because I'm not going to allow it again after this. And then uh, I need to okay. know how I may need mm -hmm. to change... Do you want me to like, explain yeah. how I, my character is different? Yes, because I didn't pay attention the first time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think, honestly, I think what it was was that he was like, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm this. And, but he really, he was like, all right, cool. I'm going to pick up this. I'm going to get that. <laughs> no. So basically what happened was the way I was playing my character, I was basically using a bunch of like unapproved content to get it to work. And it felt shitty. And then when I was planning out my multi-class, it just seemed really bad. Um, so I decided to swap. Still the same classes. It's just a different, um, different direction. So basically, I went from playing a mage who excelled in melee to a mage who excels in magic, which is a lot better. Um, I had Great Weapon Master as my feat. Now I have Fey Touched, which basically just lets me, well, it gives me one charisma and lets me cast Misty Step Misty once step, a day. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> um, I have taken the Clockwork Magic Sorcerer, so I get Clockwork Magic, which is just like an extra spell, uh, and Restore Balance, which lets me negate an advantage or disadvantage roll if I'm within 60 feet. And then Warlock stuff's all the same, except I took Eldritch Blast and Repelling Blast instead of the other crap. Mm -hmm. And then as far as spells go, um, I picked up some more utility stuff like Minor Illusion, um, Mold Earth, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then for my actual spells, not my cantrips, <clears throat> some area of effect stuff and some utility. So I got like Grease and Sleep, which are like AoE stop monsters. Uh, and then for utility, I have like Alarm, Protection from Good and Evil, and Shield. Um, so nothing too crazy. Ooh. Yeah, that sounds good to me. And just to double check, Cricket, when you say re-roll, it's kind of like the terminology, like he didn't re-roll his stats or anything like that? Right. Okay, yeah, then, I mean, yeah, I'm... Yeah, should... No re -roll he kind of, he just, like, redid his class because he doesn't want to... Yeah, yeah. he didn't want to do, like, the next ten levels with, like, the same guy. Too, right. Yeah, that's fine with me. Um, I don't actually have any changes. The only changes I would make would be between levels. I can drop a spell and pick up a new spell, but I did that with Identify because we don't have enough gold for that shit. So. Well, when I logged in, uh, I saw Iris wanted to reroll a Paladin. And I was like, well, before I make any further decisions, because I let one person, I want to decide from the group before I give him an answer. So. That makes sense, especially with all this uh, god fuckery he keeps doing. Someone could just be yeah. like, I'm forcing you to be a paladin now. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You work for me now? Yeah, like, you either work for me or you die. <laughs> I mean, honestly, with me, like, when I originally chose the Barbarian, it was because I, I knew nothing about D&D. Since then, I've studied the fuck out of D&D. <laughs> and um, I'm playing Loser. a paladin. Okay. Yeah, I'm playing Loser. a paladin and the other other campaign that i'm playing in and it's just way more versatile i mean with the barbarian yeah it's nice all the you know don't take damage thing but like my basically in my actions in combat i can you know either use my uh, action to attack or use my action to attack and yeah. um then out of combat right the barbarians just don't have a lot of things to do um story-wise and stuff like that i don't have you know a lot of they're they're known not to be well in the social aspects of the game as well. They don't have a lot of things for that. Yeah, they're fixing. Yeah, man. If things. you feel if you feel that way, no no stress. So I mean, I don't mind being a tank. Um, if we need a tank, it's just uh, just 
felt like it was limiting and you know i mean they say it's a new player friendly thing because it doesn't have a lot of options but i feel like i wish i had more options yeah if that's what you would need to have fun then i don't really mind yeah i'm fine with that I mean, I, I, I could uh, I could do it in a way. Us. Like, if y'all yeah. want me, to, but my thoughts was I can still be Gail and still have the backstory and everything. Yeah, that's what and, I mean. And and do like a, um, a custom lineage, which means I can still be a half orc, right? With that, I mean, my appearance is what I want it to be, so I can still look exactly like I want. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So well, then, then, go ahead and prepare a paladin, and the I'll just tell you the story right now is that. You were um, pulled back into the void uh, with uh, the god. It's Neralis. You were correct. <laughs> you desecrated his body and his oh. resting place, which is Milfra Cave. And he's not happy because he's already given you a second chance. So he sentences you to. Honestly, a his second chance was kind of a. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since he gave me the second chance, I've been screwed over. Feels like so. Yeah. So I feel like Gail you... would not be very happy. He's like, you to I you told me, like my understanding was we, we were gonna help the priest. You know, I sacrificed something. We helped the priest, and then like everything's not really went too well since then. The town still got a plague. Like, yeah. So. You've just desecrated his body, and you yeah, were complaining about yeah, that's uh, such a god. <laughs> having like a shit time of it since the last time you created a problem for yourself. Uh, so he sentences you to become a paladin uh, to serve him, come when he calls, and you will be called at a later date, or he smites you right here and now. You are the uh, favor. I'll be your paladin. All right. Poof. All right. Go back. Your paladin, whatever you create for next time. Cool. <laughs> you would not believe what I just <laughs> went through. Oh, yes, wow. You, you still look your, like shit. This is your punishment from me. You have to describe to the group when you get back. Uh -huh. What you just went through, what you found out. Because before you suspected it was Neuralis. Now you know for sure. Well, to be honest, IRL and in um, and in game, I'm tired, so my brain fun wasn't functioning very well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Uh, have a good story that, too. That was wild. Bye guys. Yep. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.